Hi flower friends, it's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm and I just wanted to hop on here real quick with a time sensitive daffodil sale. So after we offered the tulip sale in the spring, you guys asked, will you please put together a daffodil collection and we weren't gonna do it because honestly, the daffodil bulbs are a lot bigger than the tulip bulbs, so you can't fit as many into the shipping boxes. So they're just a little bit more expensive when it comes to shipping because Jake's prices do include shipping. But after you guys asked, I said, okay, let's put together a couple of collections and let's make it work. So the prices include shipping on these. There are four different collections that you can choose from. And the first one includes my favorite daffodil. It's the Sir Winston Churchill daffodil is my favorite, but the collection is called the Fragrant Bunching Collection. And these will all include daffodils with multiple flower heads and they have almost an overwhelmingly delicious smell. Some people can't even stand them. I am in the crowd of give it to me more, please. It's delicious in my nose. So much that I found a candle, like a tart, a Yankee tart candle that was, I think it was called Cheerfulness, which is a, the name of a daffodil. And I kept that in my pocket all winter long. It just got a little bit of a daffodil in my nose every time I was feeling blue. Next, we have a butterfly mix, which includes a gorgeous selection of ruffled feathers like the orangery. Orangery is beautiful and delicious. And several other varieties in this mix as well. And then the double mix. This is usually the most popular, especially for cut flowers. It has a definite, distinct look about it, which includes White Lion, Tahiti, and Replete. Those are three that I have been growing for a few years now, and I love them. It also includes other varieties as well. The entire lists are in the document that you can check out. It's in the description below. And then we come to the peachy mix. It's a peachy pink mix. It's got things like Pink Charm and other ones with a peachy pink hue. And guys, just so you know, when those start to open up, they do look yellow, and as they age, they turn pink. So if you buy these and they start to bloom and you're like, okay, these aren't peachy pink, that's because they age. I don't, you know, I wasn't aware of that the first time. So when my pink charm began to bloom, I was like, okay, somebody screwed up. I got the wrong bulbs. No, I didn't. I just had to wait a few days and they definitely turned that beautiful peachy pink color. And finally, there's the top secret mix, which is basically all of them combined, mixed up into a bag and shipped to you in boxes. And that is the top secret mix so you won't know what you have until they bloom, which is always fun. Anyway, don't forget daffodils are perennial. They multiply. This is something that you invest in once and it keeps on giving and giving more year after year. I think daffodils were one of the smartest investments that I've made on this farm because I purchased them three years ago and I didn't have to do a thing to them since. I'm serious, I've done nothing to them. They just keep coming back and multiplying year after year after year. I never even fertilized them. Sales on this will close on Sunday. You will probably get an invoice within the next couple of weeks and they will ship later in the fall when Jake gets them in. The link to place an order is in the description of this video and you have to make sure you fill out every part of the form. It'll ask your name, your address, et cetera, et cetera. Make sure you don't skip over any of those parts because um, that will kind of void your order. And you should get an email confirmation information if your order went through fine. Tulip invoices, most have gone out. Jake's working on the last dozen or so from the tulip sale, but make sure you check your junk email uh, for your tulip invoices. And I think he gives you 30 days to pay. And if you don't pay within 30 days, your order is ju it's just canceled after that. Okay, now I wanted to show you guys an exciting thing that I'm growing here at the farm. It's kind of my little obsession at the moment. And this was a gift that Sunflower Steve sent me two years ago and he sent me bare roots. When I posted a picture of this what I'm about to show you on my socials most people had never even heard of this variety and it's a type of liatris also known as gay feather and something that so many of you guys are probably growing it comes in purple and it comes in white and there are some shades of pink if you can find them but this one is a special liatris which is a native it is a liatris aspera and it has a different bloom formation where the the common liatris have just like a candle spike this one has alternating delicious spikes all the way up and they're so fun but my favorite time to use them is before they bloom check these out so sunflower steve affectionately calls these popcorn liatris look at these. I posted them. I called them pine cones, but other people were saying they look like baby artichokes and they absolutely look like baby artichokes. Look, my hair apparently comes with it. <laughs> I have cut these. People were asking about the vase life eight days ago. These have been sitting in plain water, not even any flower food, plain water for eight 
days and all I can see is this in like a bridal bouquet or something just absolutely gorgeous or just regular bouquet. Why not? But to me, they're elegant. They're beautiful. I love the green with the white trim. And this is a perennial in zones four and higher. And it's called Leatris Aspera. But check out what happens if you don't cut it at this stage. They'll start to turn a pinky purple. And then, just like Leatris, they start to shoot out those little cute little gorgeous purple feathers at the top out every single one of these little popcorn balls. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys this because so many people had never heard of this. I'm sure there's a place where you can get bare roots. I'm sure Steve is going to be inundated with requests to send bare roots. Maybe someday he'll be able to do that for you guys. <sighs> I'm in love with them. I think they're so cool. And eight days and they look like I just cut them, honestly. They look like nothing I've ever seen before. They, they remind me of hops, artichokes, pine cones, but in this tiny miniature stage. I just had to share that. After I posted it on my socials and it got so much attention, I said, okay, my flower friends need to know about this. Leatris aspera, and it is a native, so it doesn't get much better than that. Also, you can, you can harvest it in the bloom stage if you love those pops of purple in your bouquets. Or you can leave it in your landscape and it'll be beautiful there as well. Okay guys, I have uh, the farmer's market today. <laughs> so I have got to go get ready and put everything in my car and make it to the farmer's market. Finally, for the first time in five Thursdays, I don't think we're gonna get any rain today. I did record this week's CSA bouquet making video and hopefully I'll be able to edit that tonight and post that for you guys tomorrow or over the weekend. If you're interested in the daffodil sale, I will be closing it on Sunday so Jake has time to get those invoices out and stuff like that. Anyway, thanks guys for sticking around. We'll see you soon. Should I just, should I pony? Ooh! <laughs> I just flung my hair tight. Okay, no pony. Where is that tart? I must find it. Hummingbird, hummingbird. Hello, Mr. Hummingbird. Oh, you pooped. If you want in on the daffodil sale, I will be closing it on Sunday, so make up your mind. Nope, that's rude. <laughs> that's rude. I am obsessed. As you can see, it's about one, two, two and a half feet tall. And the first year, this one bare root only sent out three uh, beautiful stems. And this year, I thought there were only 12, but they just keep coming. I think I've counted 16 of these stems. So <laughs> this needs to get thrown out. <laughs> this is in a small raised bed here. Um, and it's, this is where it's gonna stay. Oh, you pooped. 